So, g'day, how you going? Oh no, that was a weird introduction. So, if you don't know, I'm Glenn. I like to collect coins and, you know, also sell them as well because they say you fun stuff. So, I've got this bag of, uh, feels like, you know, probably three, four hundred grams of coins and they're African. So, it's not really common that you're going to get African coins in bulk lots. But I, I'm just going to assume most of these are pretty common in Australia. So in Australia, uh, African coins are pretty common where there's either a lot of immigrants from that place and there's not that many immigrants from Africa in Australia. Most of them from Sudan, Somalia. But those two countries don't really use coins. Somalia has been issued any coins since 1984. Sudan, 2011. Uh, and they're not pretty common. 2006 coins are not common. Uh, South Africa. We have a lot of South African immigrants. So they're the most common coins in Australia. Uh, so, in due regard, let's just flip it over. And as you can see, if the bag was ripped open anyway. And don't worry about the Japanese and the Peruvian coins and the Bolivian coins. They're for another video. So, uh, tip them out. Okay, so obviously it's quite a lot of coins and I can see there's quite a few coins from Zimbabwe. So I'm just going to rip all those Zimbabwe coins out and there's a 20 Nagui. So at the time, 1970s, uh, these were equivalent to 20 Australian cents because uh, the size is pretty, is the same uh, because it's adopted from the British monetary system. So in the 1960s, Zimbabwe issued their own pre-decimal coins. And then in 1968, they issued the decimal currency. So their coins are all pretty similar to Australia. So we've got 20 Negri. Negri. I can't remember the animal on them. Uh, looks like, uh, yeah, top deer. Then we have the 10 Negri, same as the Australian 10 cent. So I've got quite a few, and then I've got two Nagui and one Nagui. And the currency is Kracha. So here's one of the pre decimal coins. So it's equivalent to five cents or six pence Australia. And do I have a 20 Nagui? Okay, let me just move them out of the way. And okay, so I'm just going to put them, I won't put the decimal coins at the top. So it doesn't look like we have any 50, which is a pity. Uh, so here's the actual five. And a, so here's the five and a green, the six pence. And as you can see, the design's the same. Because uh, the, when they converted, they converted like Australia. But the reading is a bit different. Coat of arms. This is uh, Kwanda, Mr. President Kwanda, who's a dictator. And so they just kept the same design. Okay. Okay, got another one. So as you can see, it's a lot of uh, Zambian coins, which I, I am surprised. So Zambia only issues coins once every few years. This one's quite nice. 68. And here's the one degree. It looks like an aardvark. 172. Oh yeah, so they only issue coins once every few years. Because, yeah, why not? It's cheaper to issue coins every few years than to actually mint them every year. Ah, another one. Obviously, those sixpence coins are in uh, pretty poor condition. Here we have a coin from Malawi. So, coins from Malawi. Same denomination because they come from the same pre decimal currency beforehand. And the uh, Rhodesia, Malaysia land, pound. This is the one shilling, so pretty decimal coin. Okay, got another five, another 20. Looks like there's a lot of South African coins in here. So another five, another five. So these ones sell for probably one or two dollars each. But because I've got a lot, then uh, just put them all together. 
So basically, 68, 72. 68 seems to be common. Okay, there's another one. Okay, and obviously a lot of them are the, the one degree denominations. And basically, hopefully I've got most of them out. Yeah, so basically it looks like that's all of them. And as you can see, got quite a few. So to make a set, we need the 15 degree, which is a probably similar size to that Swaziland coin. So these ones were demonetized in 19, uh, 2015, yep. Okay, so we've got those ones. Okay, let me get out all the South African coins. So we've got some pre-decimal. So it's, oh no, it's a decimal, half a cent. Same size as a... Okay, so here we have a half a cent, one cent, when they decimalized in 1960. So the same size as a half penny. And this is the same size as a penny. And on the back, Mr. Rybeck. I think his name's Rybeck. Okay, then we got one cent coins. I've got another Zambian coin there. Okay, you got one cent, two cent. So those ones are from uh, the second decimal series, starting in 1965. Okay, then we got one rand. You have a uh, 50 cents. Another 50 cent. Okay, you got. 10 cents, should have 20 cents there as well. Okay, another 10, 5 cents, 5 cents. Got some more modern rand. So the current sized coins. Although they stopped issuing them. Okay, then we have uh, the 20, 20 cent. Got some pre decimals, so here's a farthing, record, or a quarter. A quarter penny, and as you can see, they've recycled the design from the farthing to the half cent. Uh, another 20, 10, another 50, 1, 2, and 5 for the end. Okay, another quarter penny. So the early coins issued in the 19. Uh, 1920s, a little lower issued coins, um, pre-decimal ones, obviously it's not, but here, here we have a 1948 Southern Rhodesia, so this circulated in current Rhodesia, Zim, which is Zimbabwe, uh, Malawi, which was Nyasia land, and also in Zambia. Zambia was never actually on the coin. So, okay. Looks like I've nearly fished most of those coins out. Okay, so pretty much half of this set was... To Zambian and also South African coins. So, uh, got two more over here. Okay, so we've got a few farthings put over there. We only got one two cent, which is a pity because uh, those ones have the best design. So, for the one cent, we have various denominations. So, we've got coat of arms, and then we have. Uh, Various presidents, or no, this is a historical figure. So these come in. So see, this is the African, South Africa, and then we have South Africa. And you say one year issue. So I'm not too sure which of these I've got. And it's a two cent. So these last issue in 1965. Then we have the five cent. So let me, so with the five cent, we have the self, the English and Afrikaans issue. Then we have another presidential issue. 
some more like the earlier coins so as you can see there are various different coins you can get for South Africa and these two presidential issues which quite nice I'm not too sure which ones I have these were issued up until 1989. Okay, then we have the 10 cent. Whoa! So we have the 10 cent as well. Quite a lot of different issues that you can find from South Africa. Coat of arms seems to be a bit boring. I think most of these are pretty standard issue. I'll need to find out the echo. Okay, so we don't have this coin for the 20 cent then the 50 cent we have the coat of arms 85 75 and 70 but with the one rand obviously i don't have these i know uh, so two different precedents 82 and 85 so i need to find out the mintage figures for those and these are just nickel coins so this is all nickel i don't think the copper nickel uh the one rand used to be a silver coin then the 20 cent yeah so most of these south african coins i just sell as a bulk lot okay so then we have one rand so then there's the coat of arms and these coins are interesting because every year they change the language on the coin so to get the type set you need to get at least 10 20 coins two rand for the current coat of arms the five rand so here's the issue that they issued until 2003 when they changed it to the buy metal coin they have now. It has a wildebeest, quite a nice coin. So it's 94. And I have two presidential inaugurations. And this uh, is when Nelson Mandela took over the presidency. And as you can see, a lot of them have grease strikes on them. Okay, and for the rest of the coins, I have a few Rhodesian one cent coins. So I think most of them are 1970. Uh, the coat of arms of Rhodesia. Then I have some Tanzanian five centiti. So this is the smallest denomination they issued. And it should be quite common. It's a swordfish and race bar quenza. And also have the one shilling, quite nice, 1966. So I'll probably keep the best one of these. And the 50 cent nitty and the 50 cent from uh, Kenya. So these both adopted coins. Uh, so 1966, they were using the same currency. That's why the denominations is the same size. So one shilling from Kenya, one shilling from Tanzania. Obviously, this is in Swahili. So, at the time, you could probably have uh, used those coins in each other's country. Okay, so then we've got smaller countries. So, we've got 250 cents from Swaziland, 981 86. We have two different monarchs. This is the king's wife. And also, we have a coin from Lesotho, 1979, one Lotti. So that one I don't think I have. So, and these ones are probably about four or five dollars each. Another coin from Kenya, ten cent. This is in uncirculated grade. Still probably only worth three or four dollars. Fifty cent from Zambi uh, Zimbabwe. Not really worth that much. First year of issue, nineteen eighty. Then we have a half pesiwa from Gambia. Not Gambia, uh, Ghana. 67 pretty common coin not bad got two 10 cents from uganda and these are smaller than the coins they issued in kenya so obviously you couldn't use uh, the 10 cents from each other's country and these were issued under Idi Amin. and the last coin which i like is a pre decimal one penny from Looks a bit rotated from Zambia. 
So that would go along with the sixpence coin. Uh, they didn't issue a footprints. So they had the half penny. Oh no, they had a one penny, then a sixpence, one shilling, and two shilling. And uh, that's basically it. So these are probably worth a that's probably worth about five to ten dollars in itself. Anyway, I hope this helps you with your coin collecting. So obviously most of them are from Zambia and South Africa. And then we just got through leftovers uh from the other African countries. And my surprise is actually the Lesopo coin. They're ones I'm not really surprised you'd actually get it in a uh, bulk lot. Anyway, thank you very much and have awesome coin and banknote collecting time. Thank you and goodbye.